This is BK. Yo, before we get into this, man, a lot of y'all, I feel like y'all hosting around, man. Y'all playing with me, bro. Like, comment, subscribe, man, and share this video, man. I'm watching. Shit, me? Come on, bro. Stop hosting around on here. You. He fell in love with. Yo, this nigga like Batista. Am I bugging? Is this Batista? Tamina. And they fell in love Who with. Who this crazy game? Kyra. We have the same. Wait, what the fuck? Same look. We literally own the same clothes. When we go out in public, we always get asked if we're sisters or we're twins. BQ and Tamina make. Son. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me hit it. Kyra on social media, and she was soon on a flight to the U.S. to join them in a thr. Oh, wifey found her doppelganger and brought her in the spot. That's not tough. Man, I hope wifey find. I ain't gonna say find her doppelganger, but I hope wifey. You know what I mean? Hold it down like this. This is dumb fire. She was Once America, I spoke bro. to Kyra, oh. there was no doubt in my mind that she was what we needed in this relationship. But for Tamina, talk. polyamory is more than just a lifestyle choice. She hopes it will save her marriage to BQ. In the past, Bryant, you know, hasn't been faithful. And I feel like... My son don't speak English? Why my son? My son is dumb quiet. I mean, I ain't gonna front. You get caught, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Outside the spot, wigging out. <laughs> And wild buggery, it makes sense why you quiet. My son changed. Shit went from, mm, to, uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, if you are with a man, you should do whatever is required to make that work. My friends and family have not met Kyra yet. One of my really, really good friends will be meeting her for the first time today. You look like you're going to hit me. I'm not going to lie. At first, I thought you brainwashed. What the fuck? Watch her to do this. My son, don't chat. Is my son deaf? We've been together about five. Oh shit, my son could talk. <laughs> nah. But I'm about to say Batista not deaf. My son used to talk on WWE. Yes. Over five years. Over five years. <laughs> okay, so how we met was I was a special finance manager. Oh, she was valid. Wait, she was valid. Okay, so how we met was I was a Yo, she was a valid white girl. The white gal was type valid. I don't even you feel me, but I could I could see this. A, a special finance manager. This is valid, bro. Come on. And he was a finance manager at a dealership. He starts showing up in my office, which was a totally different building. And I was like, what? Like, he's... <clears throat> wow. That's it. I don't, I don't have words. I still don't have words. Uh, we've been married for about uh, almost three years now. He's just like a ball of life, you know? I just kind of like was able to let myself be myself around him and he could tell I was I, I was always kind of into girls and I would be like, I'm not. And then just one day, I guess I just woke up. I was like, you know what? I am. All right, let's just, can we try it? <laughs> <laughs> we decided to become polyamorous probably in the last year. One of my very dear friends are going to be at the party tonight. Her name Damn, she looks so much different. Is it the makeup? Not that I'm hating or nothing like that. She's like, who's two different Thanks, videos? Monique. Though. We wanted to uh, ask if she would like to join our relationship and move in with us. We used to be in a trouble with this, you know, girl named Monique. She was cool, but, you know, she had to go and do what she had to do. And this is our new girlfriend, Kyra. Hello. My name's Kyra. I'm 29 years old and I'm from Perth, Western Australia. I'm very oh, out man. there, so I'm very much. What the fuck is out there, man? Much like Tamina. How did we meet? It's pretty much just on social media. BQ added me. We just hit Maybe it this off from there. Got. So when we started looking for a third partner, the best place to look is Brian's Facebook because he just adds girls and girls and girls. And I didn't understand it, but now I do. Because now when he adds girls, I'm like, oh, I like that one. I've never really left my hometown to, to fly across the world. It was pretty full on, but that was so worth it. Once I spoke to Kyra, there was no doubt in my mind that she was what we needed in this relationship. It's definitely, definitely made us stronger. We're best so friends. They match this is the missing link though? that I was trying to figure out. And we got it here. We are going That's shopping so with Daddy BQ. Would you say that BQ has a type? Yes, right here. <laughs> it's fair to say that I was looking for a woman that looked like me because Bryant likes that. I seen Tamina when I came across BQ's profile and I was just like, this girl, 
She looks exactly like me. It was so weird. She's my twin. When we go out in public, we always get asked if we're sisters or we're twins. We all do share one bed as much as we can with the dogs. They're still getting used to me and they're very jealous that they- Oh my God, them stupid ass dog. Yo, I hate them little shits, bro. I'm allergic to them shits. They have to share their mommy and daddy <laughs> with me. I might get nipped a couple of times. So the dogs are the most jealous. Yes. yes the dogs are. are the most jealous. I am not going to lie, 150%. I did feel insecure uh, when we started looking for a third. So one of the reasons I wanted to be in a polyamorous relationship was um, I knew that it would nah. also... You see, son? Brushing the hair back is crazy, gang. Polyamorous relationship was um, I knew Bang, that... Bang! I was... <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? My son said... Oh, Brad Farr, fuck are you doing, my nigga? Like, it would also keep the attention of Bryant here. In the past, Bryant, you know, hasn't been faithful. And I feel like, damn. as a woman, whatever it is, if you are with a man, you should do whatever is required to make that work. I want him for the rest of my life. Whatever he wants, whatever makes him happy, I will give it to him. I never would ask her for anything like that because I just don't want her to feel like it's something that's required in this relationship. But what she had asked me if I would like it and you know, of course I'm gonna give it a try. Shopping time. Of course. Of course. We love wearing matching outfits. What girl doesn't want to play dress up all day long? If I, like I was about to say like, they do this shit on purpose, or they wear matching outfits every day. How does this go? She likes it, so I just get two. This is so cute and matching, sexy pleasure. and classy. Yes. We do cop a lot of judgment, a lot of hate on social media. Mm -hmm. I just ignore them. They're taking the time out of their day to watch us, sign up to our OnlyFans. So, you know, that says it all. I pay our bills, so I love you. <laughs> I had a girl who um, went to high school with me, and she had wrote me a comment, and she was like, what did you do with your life? Like, I just take it as just hate and, and, and just jealousy. I've been judged my whole life just That's because fine, of... Man. It's little, listen, man, as long as you and wifey is good at the crib, man, everything else is just noise, you heard? That's it. That's the, uh, that's the wisdom of the day, you heard? Everything outside, my nigga, ah, it's just like you and your shorty or you and your man's paws or whatever, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Man and woman, woman and whatever, you heard? Listen, man, as long as y'all niggas is good inside the crib and everything is... Saying in order, man, fuck everything else. My my religion and you know my ethnicity. I'm Pakistani, raised Muslim. Oh, On social media, word? it's really men that are from my culture and my background that they, are very. They, I know they violate. I know they violate. You're a Pakistani, you know, they're like judgmental. Dead. But you know what? Why are you even on my page? You shouldn't be watching me and watching what I do if I you're such a Muslim. So, hey, you know what? I, I, I don't even take it seriously so because now. they're basically contradicting themselves by even being, even watching me, you know? My friends and family have not met Kyra yet. One of my really, really good friends is will be meeting her for the first time today. Actually hasn't met either of them, so I'm kind of hmm? nervous to see what she has to say. I've known Tamina for roughly five, six years. I know they've had- She's never met, you. your best friend has never met hubby or nothing? Some troubles in the past where she's been cheated on, so. You know, for the sake of their relationship, I think she wanted to introduce a second female into the mix. Frankly, um, I consider myself. Wait, that's that's contacts. Somebody let me know. Be pretty so like she on the vampire. Conservative. I don't believe in poly relationships. As her friend, don't of course, I'm worried. You look like you're gonna hit me. Whose right? idea was it? Um, it was mine. It was my idea. Um, I know this is like an idea you would think like Tamina mm -hmm. would never do. Yeah. But I know what. Be likes girls, and I think I do. And you know, I, I figured let's try it. If yeah, it, we have a little family now. Yeah, you know. And this has nothing to do with him cheating on you or anything mm -hmm. like. So that. that's not the reason I did it. I knew what I was getting into when I met him. I uh -huh. accepted every part of him. So are you ready to meet <sighs> Bryant and Kyra? Yes. <laughs> My babies, come here. Coming. Come. Coming. <laughs> Hi. Grace. Hi, Grace. Hi, baby. So I remember so. when Tamina first told me I had some reservations and doubts. I know she wanted to have a boyfriend or husband for a really long time, so I was really excited. And then when she told me that she was adding a new, you know, person to the ra relationship, I was kind of like, the "What? Nah, she ain't said Holy that. cow! Like, what <laughs> happened or what made her want to do this?" 
And I'm not gonna lie, at first I thought you brainwashed her to do this. <laughs> she brainwashed me to do this. And then they didn't take too much washing yeah, out. She had mentioned to me in the past that she's been cheated on a few times. I was very irresponsible. I was careless and selfish, and I did what I did. Do I regret it? Absolutely. Will it happen again? Absolutely not. This was not my idea. It did, does not take for this for this relationship to work, right. you know, but it just so happens that, you know, she wanted this. This is more than I could probably handle. I might have to hire somebody just to help me. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. As her friend, I just want to make sure, like, you got it out of your system. No, of course. Right? As long as there's respect between whoever it is that I'm dealing with, what, what I'm doing with these two women here, then I feel like it's okay. Kyra, have you been in, involved in uh, Thrupples before? I never. What the fuck? That's the name y'all put on that? My son is trying to keep the professionalism to a fucking T, my nigga. Yeah. It was irresponsible. Son was, I was wilding out here, you heard? Wilding and styling from the islands, you heard? Stabbing shit. You know what I mean? But I'm chilling now, you heard? I ain't doing too much, you know what I'm saying? It's between us now, you know what I mean? I'm chilling. I got a lot, I got a lot of, oh, that's ass right there. Oh, my fault, my fault, my fault. You know what I mean? It's just. I thought that I would actually be in one, do you know what I mean? But um, it suits me. I, I can't picture myself with one person. Like and we GTA didn't jump into character. it thinking automatically that we were going to be in a thruple, you know, relationship. Really it just kind of, of built from a friendship. There's no one that compares to, you know, him. And her. Good for you guys. Tell me about it. We should just dress you up like me too. I know. And <laughs> go. Like, She's I trying to bring no, a third in. my cup of tea. I would never uh, entertain a poly relationship. We thought we would never either, and here we are. So you like, probably never thought you would even accept a thruple from like your longtime yeah. friend. You know, after hearing you out, just you know, makes me feel a lot more comfortable about her decision. But I ultimately just want her to be happy. So never say never. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm so not happy doing that you first. came and finally got to meet my husband yeah. and our girlfriend. Thank you, thank you so much for course, having me. Of course, anytime. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. So nice yeah, she come from you. A, she also comes from a background that's like, ah, this ain't it, my nigga. I so. think the plans for the future at the moment is probably working towards getting me over here permanently, which is the process. We're gonna need to get a bigger house. Hey, babe. Hey. Definitely hey. a bigger bathroom. Yes. What would you say to those who judge Hollywood? I would say, why are you watching us? <laughs> and don't knock it till you yes. try it. Exactly. Hey, yo, my, my son is on Demon Tommen. You heard? Pause. Now nah, he's out there wilder, man. Shout out to him, man. Very happy for the... Hopefully this shit lasts, you know what I'm saying? And my son... Where the... My son Don Toretto meets fucking Batista. You know what I'm saying? I hope, I hope my son doing good out there, man. Take care of them ladies, man. Safety gang. Like, comment, subscribe, and share though. You know what I mean? Go subscribe to the OnlyFans and go watch the original video. Tell them I sent y'all.